Sweet. All right, let's get into it. All right, so basically opening up 20 tins of pin fates. My motivation behind this is there's just so many great pulls in hidden fates and I'm hoping that after grading, I can make my money back, if not more. <clears throat> there we go. Whooper. Shoot. So with these Zards getting tens, they come back. If they come back at ten, they're about one hundred and fifteen to one hundred and fifty dollars. I've seen them sell for. Oh, there we go. Energy X. That's a good. That's a good pack right there. Let's actually go ahead and set these up there. <clears throat> I'm a little shaky because I just got back from the gym. Oh, that sucks. So I got these tins for retail price. So I paid 20 bucks for each tin. At, and there's 20 tins, so about 200, no, sorry, that's 400 bucks, sorry. 400 bucks for all these tins. Um, they look to be selling at about 40 bucks each. So I spent 400 um, and I could make probably 800 and double my money. Um, I enjoy opening these. Oh baby, that's what I'm talking about right there. Tapu Coco Gold. Like right there, if I got this at a 10, that's worth at least 100 bucks. These Zards, I have six of the Charizard 10s. If those each get 10s, that's 100 bucks each. I mean, obviously not every single one of them is gonna get a 10, but oh my gosh. That is why I love freaking Hen Fates. You guys see that? I, just the pulls are amazing on these. I love it. I just love them face. So I'm like hoping that <clears throat> just with the pull rates and good grades, I can make my money back. I can make hopefully more than 800 bucks when I get to open it. Um, and you never know. You never, you never know. You might get that Charizard. There we go. King of Scar. I wanted to keep that. Uh, let's add up there. So one thing about me is I never actually grew up opening packs of Pokemon cards. I mean, I maybe, I can actually remember opening one pack of Pokemon cards early on. And that was it. Ooh, the birds. Oh my gosh. I literally just sold that card in PSA 10 for 75 bucks today. And I every single one of them that I sent off, I think came back a 10. Swab blue. <clears throat> oh my gosh.
gosh, there we go. Altaria. Woohoo! I freaking love it. Hidden Fates is so much to, so much fun to open. Can't be quick about this, you guys. Lucario. There we go. Cool. So much potential in this set. I freaking love it. Invades are awesome. single one. It's awesome. <clears throat> oh, baby! That's what I'm talking about! Are you kidding me? What? Guys, okay, so it's like I've been getting all of the um, the evolutions, and every single time I get a 10, they sell for like 300 bucks. That's crazy. Like that right there, if it comes back a 10, that's 300 bucks. And I was going to make 800 on all this. It's not counting all the Charizards that I have. It's like, I think it's the best bang for your buck. Like, and I get to open it. It's so much fun. I love it. Oh my freaking, okay. It was nothing terribly crazy. Every time I see something shiny, I just get so amped up. Ugh. It's ridiculous. Even those energies are worth money. I love it. Hand Face is the freaking best. Only do it for the free tail though. <clears throat> oh my gosh are you kidding me baby Woo! <laughs> guys that's just ridiculous i'm not even halfway there no two four six eight ten i'm not even halfway in yet and i've got some insane pulls are you joking me i love this oh what a great set Guys, I'm so glad I opened this. Great. Show. That was absolutely great. Don't worry, I got sleeves, but nothing's going to happen with them sitting there. Oh, come on. There we go. Like, dude, a double whammy. Beautiful. I love it. <clears throat> Oh my gosh, dude, what the heck? I freaking love it. I'm sorry if you guys are commenting or anything. I'm, I'm not by my phone to see. Jesus is insane. Oh my gosh. Was this in the same set? I don't know. Yeah, I think I got the Glaceon and then the freaking Umbreon in the same tin. Hey, good thing I'm recording this so I can always go back and look. Where is Sylveon? I can't even believe this, you guys. Get back here. There we go. All three. Right there, you guys. Beautiful. Guys, and I'm still not halfway in yet. I'm still not even halfway. 
you guys. This is insane. I freaking love hinge baits. I can't say it enough. Okay, so I bought the 2010s for 20 bucks each. So that's about 400 bucks in. And if I were to sell them all, I'd make about 800 bucks. But each Charizard, the promo even, if you get a 10 on that promo, is like a $150 card. So it's like, let's just call it 100 bucks for fun. And um, so that's 600 bucks just in Charizard, if I get 10s. So let's say only half of them get 10s. All right, that's 300 bucks. Every time these evolutions are going at least 200 bucks a piece in a PSA 10. I'm just like, and we're not even halfway done yet, you guys. Like, I think that Hidden Face is so, such a great bang for your buck. Honestly, my favorite, well, obviously Charizard's pretty awesome, but I really love the Mewtwo in this set, the shiny Mewtwo. All right, guys, this is super, let me get comfy. How many people are watching? Oh shoot, my phone died. Are you kidding me? Babe, can you hear me? Babe, Cool. All right, we're back. Uh, my phone died. Um, but basically, I'm opening up 20 tins of Hidden Fates. 20 tins of Hidden Fates. Six of these tins are the Charizard tin. Um, these Charizards alone, if you get a perfect 10, Go for about 100, 150 I've seen some go for. Um, <clears throat> but already, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. This is 11. I'm not even halfway in. I've pulled three evolutions. I got more shinies back there that I haven't even counted. Um, so basically, I bought each of these at retail for 20 bucks a pop. So I'm about $400 in. They're selling for about 40 bucks a piece. So it's like... I could double my money, you know, make 800 bucks, having spent only 400. Um, but I think that I can make more for sure just in the cards themselves. Um, the cards, the pulls have done really well for me. I just sold Leafeon today for $310 on eBay. Um, and I pulled three of those. I, I had three PSA 10 Leafeons. Come on, get that guy. I really love this set. Vaporeon. <clears throat> yeah, sorry. I'm starting this kind of halfway in, but... Um, my phone day, my phone died right off the bat. Okay, we were 
having some pretty hot pulls right off the bat. It's kind of slowing down a little bit. There we go, the birds and the Vulpix. Thank you so much. This card I just sold today, it was a PSA 10, sold for 75 bucks. And that's my second one I pulled. I have another one back there. Oh my gosh, are you kidding me? Freaking beautiful. I love this set. Guys, if I pull a Charizard, I will literally freak out. I have opened so much in Fates, it's insane. And I, it wasn't until I opened up my one um, Ultra Premium Collection box that I finally pulled Charizard. Literally, in my last Ultra Premium Collection box, I pulled Charizard. And it had been sitting there, just slowly waiting for me to crack open. That is a Charizard that I will keep forever. That is like literally my Chase Charizard that I spent so much time trying to get. Time and money, I should say. I was so excited when I got it. <clears throat> oh, baby. That's what I'm talking about right there. Guys, this set is just incredible. Too incredible. Oh, freaking love it. My favorite card out of the set is got to be the Mewtwo, the shiny Mewtwo. Um, but obviously, you got that Charizard Chase card. I'm sorry, I'm not able to comment, everybody. It's I'm not near the phone. Oh, there we go, another Giovanni's Exile. <clears throat> Thanks for tuning in, everybody. We're down to uh, seven more tins. Snorlax, reverse. Magnazone. I was going to try to do this earlier, but I ended up running to the gym for a little bit before they close. All right. Survivor. I definitely want to keep an art set, so I'm going to make sure I leave a charger. I have... Uh, so I'm not going to open that Charizard tin. I will leave the Charizard tin. Um, but I have four more in the mail on their way. Um, so I'll keep the Raichu and the Gyarados in that set. Um, and I'll open these guys.
So that's my third Giovanni's Exile. But we still got more where that came from. We'll go over these at the end. Let's get these last tens all taken care of. open this last charge of ten as well. What I can do is I'll just put the promo card back in it and let it sit on display. I can still enjoy it just like that. Get the card out of it. Nothing again. Nothing again. Wow. That must mean there's something really big in this pack right here. Or shuppets are hit, and that's it. Oh, wow. I'm glad none of you guys got that tin. I just saved you guys from that tin. You're welcome. Nothing. Come on, last pack's magics. Let's get them all. I want every single one of these two magic. Let's go. Oof. Nothing. Two more packs. Look at the Charger and the Charger pack. What? You gotta be kidding me. They're dipping us. Maybe all the hits were on those first packs. You got some amazing hits on those first packs. There we go. Gabite. <clears throat> All right, we're down to our last few packs, you guys. Hits have literally gone straight down. It's all good though. Oof. Last two packs, you guys. So, hey, this was a great haul overall, that's for sure. Oh my gosh, and a Tapu Fini. We got the, I think the Tapu Coco. 
on our first hit. Um, that one. Oh, baby, there we go. Oh, and a Charizard. Woo! What a great finish. That is a great finish, you guys. That was a great last pack. Last pack, Magic. Came through for us on that one. Let's go through these real quick. All right, keep them on here. All right. So we got the Dark Rai, Charizard, Tapu Fini, Gabite, Shuppet, Umbreon, GX, Poipol, Giovanni's Exile, Matang, Seviper, Magnezone, Giovanni's Exile, Moltres, Zapdos, Articuno, Guzzlord, Articuno, Sylveon, the Birds, Vulpix, Gibble, Guzzlord, Giovanni, Quagshire, Gibble, Zerub, Riolu, Alteria, Zarua, Lucario, Glaceon, Swablu, the Birds, Wooper, Guzzlord, and Tapu Koko to finish it off. And then, obviously, you can't not count all your promo cards. Tons of those guys. But hey, guys, thanks for watching.